All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's me, it's me, it's Nordgar TV, and here we are at Iowa Speedway. We got a little bit of a problem down on Pitt Road, and uh, we're going to get it sorted out here, but they uh, actually luckily have two laps uh, warm up here. Lights on the pace car are off green. Next time by, we're going to start this race. Eric Sable taking the pole. Rainbow. Jay Beasley in second, Ariadne in third, David Fish in fourth, Company in fifth. In sixth, going to be Smith. Ducharme going to be in seventh. I said that name three times, three different ways. Connor Anton in eighth. In ninth, going to be Big Dave Swindell. Mark Doolin in tenth. Beach, McKee, Brown, Richardson, Bordeaux, Rhodes, Kreiser, Crotton, and Norris, and Thorndike. And around out your top 20. Ladies and gentlemen, I just heard from James Wilms about 20 minutes ago. He will be calling in very soon, live from Iowa, with 73 to go in the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series. We're going to get our own race started here at Iowa. 200 laps here in the trucks. Oh, baby, I can't wait for this. It's time to go bumper humping. Green, green, green. I'm done holding my breath. I hope you are too here on board with De Swindell in 12th position. Now back to Bordeaux riding behind the 22 of Beach riding in 15th position. The Nordgasm Chevy Silverado 200 laps here in Iowa under the lights. Wow, what was I thinking? Yellow is out, yellow is out. Caution flag number one of the night. Lies on lap number five. Correct, coming into pit road. Yes, I do, sir. 77, Mike Ellis in the tide ride, going for a ride. Let's take a look. Ninety-six. Sorry, not ninety-six. It's a ninety-eight, I think. 98. No, it's not the 98. Who is that? It's 90 something. Thorndike. Thorndike. Thorndike getting out of shape. Let's take a look at this in slow mo. Riding behind the number 87, this is uh, 20th position. 54, the 87, 54 there, Papa John's machine, Norris. And it looks like Thorndike just loses his front end a little bit. I mean, not much at all. And let's go on board with him. Let's take a look. Everybody drink. Yeah. He tried to catch it up, I think. Yeah, just lost the front end just a little bit. Down into Ellis, tide ride, going for a ride. Everybody else able to get around, and Thorndike going to have some front end damage. Ellis also going to be in trouble there. He's going to have some rear end damage. Uh, but I did give these guys two resets. 
uh, just because I was feeling generous tonight. Everybody coming off of pit road right now. We should be getting a live interview, ladies and gentlemen, from the real Iowa Speedway Nordgar TV League members driving across country. No shit, no lie. Nordgar TV League members driving across country, meeting in Iowa, are at Iowa Speedway here tonight. We're going to have them on the phone here momentarily. Tell your friends, tell your family. Hit that follow button, finger punch it, slap it in the face, whatever you got to do. But we need uh, more guys because the interview is coming in here soon. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, watching the NASCAR Craftman Series truck race, Eric Jones, who is cur number 51, currently in second position. Eric Jones has frequented it, Norgar TV Mystery Races. We've seen Eric Jones out here quite a few times. He's making his third start in the truck series tonight, running in second place right now, and you have seen him first on Nordgar TV. He has been here. He has run and currently in the real race at Iowa. We're running second right now. So good luck to Eric Jones out there. And uh, yeah, my hat off to you, buddy. Go win this sucker. Still under caution, flag number one, lap number nine here at Nordgar TV. 200 laps here at Iowa. That is a crackhead shot if I ever saw one. Saw one. Let's go. Oh, there's another one. I don't like this. All right, we got more guys coming off of pit road. This is going to be a long one, folks. It's going to be a long one. I've never done this before. I've never run a full length truck series race while the real race was going on this is cool i like this we may have to do this more often hint hint wink wink now let me uh draw your attention to tomorrow ladies and gentlemen tomorrow night uh starting around 7 p.m eastern standard time you're gonna have to check facebook for all of this but we're gonna be putting up a special race tomorrow tomorrow uh by popular demand we have left uh we have left some things open, but tomorrow night we'll, we will be giving away a very first, first run of the mill limited edition Nordgar TV t-shirt away tomorrow night to the winner of the race, which I will announce tomorrow morning what that's going to happen. We are also going to be giving away a bunch of stickers, ladies and gentlemen. First run limited edition stickers, and we're never going to run the pattern ever again. And we're going to give three, uh, two green away, flag. green, green, green. We're going to give two away to uh, second and third place. And I am going to give two away to viewers out there. So you're going to have to tune in tomorrow night for the special race. And you better bring your A game because I am stepping the game up tomorrow. All that information will be available to you tomorrow morning on Facebook, Norgar TV. The link is down below in the old version of Twitch. Back to green flag racing here at Iowa Speedway. Lap number 12. The lead being challenged right now. Eric Sable, Jay Beasley there in the number 29. Goes by Eric Sable for the lead. Here early on at Iowa, lap number 12. Beasley will take that lap. Beasley, Sable, and there is David Fish running up at third. David doing a great job out here tonight. You guys can hear me, right? Hello, wake up, Nordgar Nation. Racing in Iowa side by side right there. The number 19 caution, and the 43, caution, David Fish, and the caution comes out again. Oh, my mama. What can we do to try to help it if we do get another restart? Who is turned around? Who is turned around? Cautions breed cautions and new stuff breeds cautions. 
All right, cool. Thank you very much, folks. I was just making sure you had a pulse. Take a look and see what happens here. Focus on uh, crashes. And I'll tell you what, it's a long race. I see uh, good old Mr. Groovin right there, AKA Groove, Marcus Legendary, who finished seventh in the last race, hailing from Frankfurt, Germany. Groove, we got 200 miles here at Iowa. Get your ass climbing up here to the redneck room. Get up here in the booth with me, Mr. Groove. Please, ladies, escort him up here. We'll get him up here, get him wired up, get him a headset. Vicious wreck right there. Ellis involved in that one as well. Mike Ellis and uh, Iowa is like, I don't know, two things that hate each other. 32 up into the wall right in front of Ellis. Ellis nowhere to go. Back down into the 39. Somebody escort, please, Mr. Groove up here. Groove. Caution flags come out early. I'm going to go take a leak. I'll be right back. Okay, uh, we got Groove. Groove, you, uh, you there? All right, hang on a second. Let me get you uh, live, buddy. You're going to see the hippie hippie shake for just a second. And uh, my buddy here, Groove, who's been with Nordgar TV since pretty much the beginning, Groove. Uh, when did you actually come around Nordgar TV? Because uh, we weren't up long and you showed up from Germany. Um, that was at the end of August in 2012. 2012, so uh, you'll be celebrating your one-year anniversary next season. So I'm glad to have you, man. Yeah, it's actually just five or six weeks away. Yep. And, was, uh, and uh, sorry, go ahead. The race was a pretty, pretty horrible race in the Mazdas at Charlotte. Mazdas at Charlotte? I really did that? Yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> Uh, I must have been on some good medication that evening. We all had fun, but we didn't have a good race. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Well, Groove, we're gonna uh, thank you for joining me up in the booth, and I hope the ladies treated you uh, treated you well. We're getting ready to go green flag racing again, and all the way from Frankfurt, Germany. Can you give us a? Let, it's time to go bumper humping. Uh, you want to do? Do you want me to do it in German? Yeah, I don't care. Do whatever. Los, los, los! There you go. There you go. Oh my God, the first German English broadcast on Norgar TV. Hey, you know what, uh, Groove? Let's uh, let's commentate the race, and you go ahead and commentate it in German for a little while. This ought to be fun. You can feed off of me. I have no idea what you're saying, and uh, it ought to be funny uh, when it is actually translated. How about that? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit of a delay here, um, maybe five seconds or so, but sure, I, I can all right, let's do that. All right. Well, we're back to green flag racing groove. Eric Sable, Rainbow, is out front. Yeah, and here is the green truck on the inside. He tries the blue truck to get in. Man, 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 and he hauls really hard on the kacke, tries to give gas. Comes, but not really dran. All single filed up from first about through uh, sixth there, right there. Side by side is Mark Newland and David Fish duking it out right now for uh, fifth position. So Groove, let me ask you here and answer in your native tongue. Uh, let me ask you, so far in this race, 200 miles, it's a big, uh, step for these guys normally I'm throwing this out here open setups what do you think these guys had to do mentally to prepare for such a uh, shock to the Norgar TV mystery races I don't think they're, there's much to prepare for they just have to say in German TV. say in German we're still talking German oh immer noch Deutsch reden. Ja, okay. Das Einzige, was sie machen müssen, ist eigentlich nur schauen, dass sie möglichst lange durchhalten und nicht unbedingt zu aggressiv an die Sache rangehen. Um, the session password, I, I can announce it now, right now, Groove. I see you asking for it in, ta in chat. It's Teets. T-E-E-T-S for Mr. Beach. And Mr. Beach is not out here, uh, at all, Groove, that's a big surprise, especially on a long race like this. Well, he's French. You know there, he's no, out. there he is. There he is. No, he is. I thought he, yeah, he is out there. Oh, hang on. He's running in ninth position right now, Mr. Beach. And uh, again, Groove, look, it just talk in German for like the next 20 minutes. I don't care. <laughs> It'll be funny. Oh, wait, wait, hang on. Hold on to that. We got James right now live from the Iowa Speedway during the trucks. They are under caution. Let's get this. Hello. James. Hang on, James. Hang on. We're going to get you. Turn this shit down. James. James Nordgar and Groove in the booth from Germany. How you doing, James? You're at Iowa. You're enjoying the race under caution right now. Nordgar TV League members there at Iowa Speedway at the moment. We're currently live, James, running our own race right now at Iowa Speedway. And Rainbow's out front. What do you think of that? Well, James, you and a bunch of the Nordgar TV members have been there for uh, the entire weekend. Um, tell us what's been going on. Can you guys hear this? Keep talking, James. I saw on Facebook that Cameron Meyer whooped all your asses. Did he whoop all your asses? Yes, he did. Well, Cameron I'm gonna. Funny, though. I'm sorry. Cameron Cross, I think, spun him once. <laughs> he spun him once. That's awesome. Yeah. 
How much Cheetos dust did you leave on the track at uh, Iowa Go Kart Racing? I left a lot. You left a lot. That's great. Uh, yeah. We got we got Groove up in the booth right now. Groove, do you have a question for James? He says no. <laughs> Yeah, why don't you, uh, yeah, put Scala on. Let's talk to Chris Scala live from Iowa Speedway. All right. All right. Chris Scala live from Iowa Speedway. How you doing tonight, buddy? You having a good time watching the race under caution right now? Yeah, what I know under caution is uh, Dale Wallace Jr. is that James Wells the first station down the front stretch. And, uh, you know, we're going to go having a good time out here. Hey, at least they get to see some kind of racing up front, of some part. You know, it's not like I've been out there on the track lately, but uh, I'll be back out there later this week, if not tonight. We'll see. But, uh, it's been a great race here in Iowa, and, uh, pretty cautious so far. It's been interesting. Well, we saw Eric Jones, who has raced here at the uh, Nordgar TV Mystery Race, Chris. Uh, we saw Eric Jones up in second place. And remember, he won the Snowball Challenge over Kyle Busch there a while ago. How's Eric looking? Eric's looking good. He's trying to accomplish a 51 truck tonight. He's on his second. He's keeping late. They just had a, a caution in the top, I think, five or six trucks. Only got two tires. So James Busher took four. He's going to restart here. Uh, I'm looking out on the track. Five seconds. Well, uh, about sixth place. Uh, with the restart here, it's going to come with about a 28 to go. Right now, uh, Eric, uh, or sorry, Chris, uh, we are on lap 37 of 200 on our Iowa Speedway race, and Jay Beasley slides it right in front of Eric Rainbow, Rainbow in the number two, and Rainbow comes back in the stripe to get him. What do you think of the race going on? Are you guys able to watch Norgar TV live from the track? Uh, well, my phone's pretty much dead. Uh, we might be able to let Wilson's uh, phone here. It's not like I need to, uh, uh, we always talk about our race run up to NASCAR, so we'll, uh, have to check that out here shortly. Well, great. Uh, you got, who else, what other Norgar TV members are there? Grab, a, uh, grab Kevin Crash or grab Cameron. Let's talk to some other guy. Thank you, Chris. Uh, pretty much the four of us, unfortunately, uh, Richard had to, uh, Superman had to go back to, uh, his home in Nebraska, hopefully he's still better tonight, but uh, he's a little under the weather. But, uh, I do want to credit something real quick. We haven't said nice show to Iowa. We haven't seen the sun. So I'm the one not part. Hold on a second, Chris. Um, uh, you viewers out there at Norgar TV chat, can you guys hear the phone? Or do I need to move it somewhere else? Hold on there, Chris. Okay, we're going to turn down the in-game sound. All right. All right, Chris. We're getting ready to go back green. We may uh, not get you. 27 to go in the real truck race right now. Ty Dillon is out front. Three wide coming into three. All right, guys. Thank you very much. I don't think we're going to be able to hear them because they are green flag racing again back at Iowa. Chris. All right, Chris. <laughs> this is funny. All right. I don't think we're going to be able to get anybody else on. We'll try to check in with you guys later. All right. Enjoy the rest of the race. Have a Nordweiser on me. And we'll see you guys Monday morning. And that's it, Groove. They uh, just hung up there. They're back under green flag conditions under the real truck race. And we're still running green here. Uh, and Beasley out in front of Sable. And Sable really putting it to him. Oh, yeah. It's nice to see Eric Sable back on track. I haven't seen him in a very, very long time. And w once he's back here, he is running in the front. 
Well, he is up front, right tucked up underneath. Jay Beasley there in the number 29. In third place, Ariadne. Ariadne, um, definitely a uh, contender everywhere we go. He was my teammate uh, this past B season. And uh, I got to tell you, he is very, very dominant at a lot of places. He may be saving his tires right now, or those two guys just may be that fast. Caution is out. Caution is out. Yellow out again. Lap 45. Good look here, Tom. Make sure everything looks okay. Don't know what happened here, Groove. Uh, let's try to find this. Yeah, I couldn't find it either. Maybe the aliens have struck here. I'm sorry I had to yell at you guys. I I, um, I was trying to yell because I was on speaker on the back side of the phone. And uh, I don't know if you guys could actually... I hope you could hear uh, some of the voice communication there in the uh, telephone. But yeah, Norgar TV needs a bigger communication budget. Yellow does yeah, come out. I mean, somehow the Americans make that work to make communications in 1969 between the moon and the earth and in 2013 you can't manage to make a communications link between Colorado and Iowa <laughs> <laughs> well you gotta keep in mind that uh, the trucks are running uh, under full bore right now at Iowa Speedway uh, for the guys out there from Norgar TV League they all some of them drove cross country to get there uh, and uh, it was Chris Scala, Cameron Meyer, James Wilms, and uh, uh, um, I'm forgetting somebody. I'm forgetting two people. Richard Swint was there yesterday, but he had to go the home this morning because Superman got sick. What do you think of that? Superman got sick. I don't know. It's kryptonite. <laughs> yeah, there we go. 98. That's his only weakness. Yeah, that is his only weakness. Superman got the flu. It must have been kryptonite. Yeah, well, I know Superman This uh, last night was pounding orange juice and NyQuil, and it didn't do the trick. 98, Shane Terratuda on the outside of the 41. That looks like a net code there, uh, Groove. Running awfully close together. Yeah, I, I don't think it was a net code. Oh, well, they were going to hit regardless. They were going to hit regardless. I'll give you that. Yeah, I, I don't think there's anyone to blame in this situation, but it certainly wasn't a net code issue. Yeah, right there. Um, 41 holding his line. 98 also holding his line, but, you know, up near near the wall you know you got to come down eventually and the guy on the inside really needs to recognize that and we see that a lot caution flag three of the night lap 45 there's 15 to go in the real race here groove as i got it on speed tv uh do you get speed channel uh, over there in frankfurt Oh, that, that would be cool if we got Speed Channel in Germany, but unfortunately we don't. Not even on satellite. Uh, well, you're going to have to YouTube the shit. Good race going on right now. The battle for eighth is getting intense right now. And uh, Peters, Ty Dillon, and Jones. Jones, who we have seen here on Norgar TV race before. He's in third right now, doing a great job in his, thir in his third very start. Uh, in the uh, Craftsman Truck Series here on uh, Speed Channel. And uh, when he was here, uh, he had some issues and uh, got into a lot of incidents that uh, were not of his doing. But uh, Eric Jones out there right now, if you don't know who he is, uh, Eric Jones uh, beat Kyle Busch in uh, the snowball uh, race. Uh, uh, was it last year or the year before that? Uh, th this kid's got a lot of talent, and he's up there running right now in the real NASCAR series uh, in third position. And as I said, Groove, we've seen him here uh, a couple of times here on Norgar TV. How does that, uh, what do you think of that? That's pretty cool, is it not? That is pretty awesome. He, he was Norgar TV, seriously? 
Yes. Yeah, yeah. He raced here quite a few times, and uh, he we, he always ran the truck races. He's out there running right now in his third very start in the uh, Craftsman truck. Well, I, I am impressed. Seriously, I'm I'm really impressed. Well, I'm gonna have to send. I've, 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 I've seen quite a lot of famous oval drivers on iRacing, but it, every time it, it's very impressive to see these guys um, being that much into sim racing. Well, we've had quite a few uh, groove, and uh, actually on the real circuit of it, the list is pretty long, and some of the names are actually uh, in the NASCAR world, uh, a few of them are pretty big, and I'm not going to drop any because we're getting ready to go green flag racing again right now here at green Iowa flag. Speedway. Lap number 51, baby! Beasley gets one hell of a restart on the outside. Sable does not go. Wreck coming down the back stretch. Swindell, boobies all over the place. And man, restarts, 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 folks. Dave Swindell, gonna vomit in his helmet. Put like an age limit on racing or something, you know? All right, after I get done here in Chad Canal's talk, let me ask you, Groove, right now, have you tried the Norgar TV spotter pack? Oh, yes, I did. And it is very confusing. <laughs> it is so confusing to hear your voice at daytime. <laughs> um, did you find it entertaining? And actually, did you feel like you were actually in a broadcast while I was not there? Oh, I, I, I enjoyed it a much. Um, it's really fun having you, say, uh, ha halfway through the finish and what whatnot. Um, but as I said, it, it's very confusing. <laughs> I've actually heard that a lot because they actually think I'm talking to them. And it looks like, you know, it looks like the 15 of Mark Newland here gets into the wall and is going to back up the rest of the field here, Groove. I think you, ha you have to take another look at the start of Jay Beasley because that was one of the best restarts I've seen on the outside since I joined iRacing. Yeah, he did get a really good restart, and it made me believe that uh, Sable just didn't go or he was in the wrong gear, one or the other. But you're going to see uh, Newland here on the outside get into the wall. Anton going to scrape him. And everybody's got to go around him, and when they do, the nine goes down, the one goes down, and there's just not enough room. Swindell goes for a ride. Definitely vomit in the helmet on number one. Please, 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 number one crew, bring down a hose, some Febreze, a pineapple, and uh, a snorkel. So we're under yellow again. Uh, caution flag number four of the night. Uh, the real Craftsman Truck Series race getting ready to uh, finish up. We're at commercial right now, so I can't really uh, comment on what's going on over there. But uh, Groove, glad to have you up here, man. Uh, thanks for joining me. And also, thanks for the uh, bilingual cast. Uh, that is absolutely awesome. Never been done. Hey, immer wieder gerne. 10-4, good buddy. I'm eastbound and down. Loaded up and trucking. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to drink to you there, Groove. My fellow brother across the pond. Yeah, cheers. I'm drinking bourbon right now. Bourbon? Uh, I was drinking moonshine uh, the last few nights. I'm back to Nordweiser here tonight. Not touching that moonshine because, oh my, it is, um, it's rough. <laughs> yeah, that bourbon is also. Well, what is the name of the bourbon you're drinking? I'm sure uh, viewers are dying to hear. Well, my, my favorite bourbon is Jim Beam because it's not too expensive and it tastes very good. Of course, Jack Daniels is a bit better, but... Um, the shipping across the pond is very expensive for Jack Daniels and uh, Jim Beam, so I'm drinking Seven Oaks. Well, 
I'll let you in on a little I'm, piece I'm of not information. Sure if you ever have heard of Seven Oaks? Google it. It's a pretty decent bourbon, which you can afford in Europe. Jack Daniels, not that good. There's way better. Uh, the white label Jack Daniels is pretty awesome. No, I've that actually never much. had the white label, so keep me out of it. <laughs> it, it it's 145 euros in Europe. Um, that's roughly $160, so it's very expensive. And it reflects the price. It's very, very good. Well, while we're under caution here, I can commentate the NASCAR race going on right now. Five to go. Peters out front, and it is a three-wide battle coming out of turn number two, down into three. This is getting exciting right now. Peters has about a five truck length lead on the number 51 of Eric Jones, baby. Nordgard TV, premier featured driver. Yeah, I'm gonna plug the shit out of this. He's in second, man. <laughs> oh, and we got a truck into the wall with four to go. We're still under green. That's a number three truck, and he green is... Green flag. We're back to green flag racing. Beasley with another good restart. Sable down on the bottom. Go on, Beasley really squeezing Sable down. And he's going to take the spot coming into four. David Fish there in the middle. And I got bad news from mid lane. It seems like David Swindell took it to the trailer. Dave Swindell behind the wall, not going to be able to uh, continue this race. And uh, maybe we can get uh, Big Dave up here along with us. What do you think of that? Yeah, just give him some time. He might not be very happy about that last incident. Nah, nothing he can do about that. I mean, they were trying to get out of the way of Newland, who uh, got into the wall there. And those drivers didn't do anything wrong. There just wasn't enough room. That wasn't to be expected. And sometimes that's how the cookie crumbles there, Groot. I don't know whose fault it was. So the race is over right now. Timothy Peters gonna be your winner in the number 17. Eric Jones who has been seen on a Norgar TV race channel. He's gonna come home second. Eric Jones comes home second. So what do you think about somebody who we have seen on Nordgar TV just ran a NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series race for the big money, comes home second. What do you think of that, Groove? I'm not impressed. I mean, we we have seen some very good racing in Nordgar TV. It's absolutely no surprise that those who do well at Nordgar TV do good in, in the real world. Did you say I'm not impressed to make a joke? Did I hear that right? <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch! I'll buy you a beer. Any? I'll buy you another beer anyway. A pills in the police. Ten four. You got it, man. We're gonna get Monique and Dominique up here. We'll get us some beers, bitch. But congratulations to Eric Jones, finishing second here while we are racing at Norgar TV. And I would probably pretty much expect another phone call from Cheetos here very soon. And I'll tell you what, Groove, I'm glad you're here because I'm gonna leave the broadcast up to you for about the next five minutes I'm going to try to get uh, Wilms and crew back out on the phone now that the race is over in Iowa, for real. Okay. All right, thanks. I'll, I'll do my best. Yeah, well, I, I got faith in you, buddy. You can do it. That means you have to talk. All right, I'm going to take off. I'll be right back. Okay. 
Well, David Fish in fourth place is having a hard time defending his spot to Brian P. Coveney, I think is his name. I hope the camera catches that because I'm on a different um, camera view right now. I think an easy way to get through this is just it's just to read out the current standings right now. We got Jay Beasley in first place with Eric Sable half a second behind him. So Eric Sable apparently now is a caution flag. Um, Ariadi in third place. David Fish and Brian P. Coveney is still duking it out while Kenner Anton in the number 4 truck is catching on them behind them is Alex Cheminade or Mr. Beach Caleb McGee, Bobby Cheney and Marcus Richardson which is very surprising because Marcus didn't, didn't qualify that well at this track but apparently he raced his way up into the top 10 And I just run out of things to say. Just tell me what to say. I'll say it in German if you want to. Or I'll say it in my charming German accent. Ariadne and Jay Beasley still pulling away from the rest of the field. And it seems like David Fish, who was fighting off Brian P. Coveney just two laps ago, is falling behind as well, and he's getting under pressure from Conor Anton, number four. Crank it up, bitches! All I hear when I'm walking up the hall is bitches. What the hell are you talking about? Ich rede von Nutten. Well, I just got off the f bitches bitches in German is Nutten. 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 <laughs> it's time to go green flag racing Nutten. We got a cluster truck right here from 15th on back. Mark Newland on the outside of the 39. Uh, I just got off the phone with Wilms. Uh, Wilms and crew, Nordgar TV League members at Iowa are going to call me from the car, and we're going to do one more interview that you're actually going to be able to hear uh, live tonight on Nordgar TV. How's that? We don't do that hardly ever. Well, I'm I'm just glad they're all alive. Nobody was hit by a tire in the head. Well. They're all alive, but I don't know how intoxicated they are, and we'll be able to find that out in a quiet, controlled situation. Well, James joined TeamSpeak about three hours ago, and he was pretty hammered back then. <laughs> I know. I asked him earlier on, uh, before we went on the air groove, if he had been partying, and he lied and said no. And <laughs> if you look at the pictures on Norgar TV Facebook of those fools, um, they're all freaking hammered, every single one of them. Well, if, if you're American and your English is worse than mine, you really start, you really should start to worry. When you're hammered, groove, you have an excuse for everything. When are you going to learn that? <laughs> well, I've, I've made that excuse all my life. Well, since you, I was eight years old. You, well, that's okay. That's too much information. 
Jay Beasley uh, putting on a school right now. 1.7 seconds over Ariadne here live at Nordgar TV Iowa Truck Series race. 200 laps recreating tonight's race. Won by Timothy Peters. Caution's out. Right now, Beasley's out. This will be caution flag number five of the night. All right, buddy. You had a couple laps by yourself there. How'd it feel? And no groove. Uh, I've had this question a few times before. I absolutely do not use my own spotter pack. Do you believe that? I'm using the Jimmy Johnson cuss pack right now. Yeah, but I, I've seen you switching back to your old spotter pack because you were kind of... If I'm racing, I'll use mine, but broadcast, my own voice bothers the shit out of me. Eric Sable going to spin all by himself. Rainbow running in ninth position. Spins by himself and just barely touches the wall. And then gets hammered by the 27. That's Brian Ray right there. Let's go on board with Ray. Looks like Sable just lost it, Groove. On board with Ray. Nowhere for Ray to go, man. That's tough luck. Now, Groove, you and you're an accomplished road racer, uh, and since I met you, I remember when I first met you, and you were like, "Fuck ovals," <laughs> and f st and to hell with the stock cars. And I got to tell you that uh, while we ran through our leagues. That, and I'll say this with all honesty, dude, is, and I've been running sim racing for a lot of years, not only here on iRacing, but everywhere else. But I got to tell you, man, uh, you progressed through the oval ranks very, very quickly, and uh, you're definitely better than I am. I, I don't think so. Um, I remember you watching uh, racing in the trucks and the B car last year, and you did a pretty awesome job and I still don't have nothing for you if you would practice yeah. um, the, yeah. one, the, the one difference between me and you is just that I practice and you don't practice you just hop in these races and see where you, where you can get and I might practice a lot and still have nothing for you well I really try I, I, listen I'm a racer and Pit Road stops, finishing up right now, and it is a mess off of Pit Road. Um, I love racing, and I love racing with you guys, and starting next season, I'm not going to be racing with you guys at all, and it really, really breaks my heart, but I really, really feel more strongly about showcasing Nordgar TV league races versus me in the cockpit, because you got to admit, our league race is some of the best on the whole entire service. Oh, they're very exciting to watch. I mean, the truck series, the bump pumping series, you don't have to advertise them. They advertise themselves. They're just that awesome. And now you, you have that IndyCar league with the road races and the oval races. I'm especially looking forward to this one because road racing, you know, I, I love road racing. I love the IndyCars. Open wheelers, extremely high cornering speeds. I think the IndyCar League is going to kick ass next season. It is absolutely going to be something to watch, that's for sure. And uh, I'm going to be in trouble because uh, I'm not even going to be able to practice with the guys because I don't have my I don't have my road license up high enough yet. I got to run a couple more races. I should be able to get it in time. But even if I don't, we'll still be broadcasting those races. And I am looking forward to those just for the fact that the IndyCar. I don't care where you drive it, Groove. It is so much damn fun. It is fucking difficult to drive, but that's what makes it awesome. 
Well, you know, if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. But uh, what we've seen here at Norgar TV over the last year is a community that has grown and become very, very close. And I consider everybody my friend. And I have had so much fun doing this. And the whole funny part about this groove is this was all an accident that happened July 4th of last year. Well, I still remember the early days of Nordgar TV. You were just saying, um, if all you guys are watching, why green don't flag, you race green with flag, me? Green flag. So let me just host a session, and you all join and have a good time. And that is that is the one reason that m makes Nordgar TV different from all the other Twitch broadcasters. That's is that you just said, make this fun. I really try. I try my ass off to make it fun. And we are back to green flag racing. And Beasley's got his hands full with Fish, Anton, the 28, and Mr. Beach up in the top five. The Frenchman. I throw my arms up in the air really high above my head. Yeah, Beach had a very bad pit stop, but he's still up there. I hope the Americans got that joke. <laughs> No, it just zoomed right over everybody. Beasley up front, Fish down on the bottom, and David Fish showing some ooh, fender superiority here at Iowa Speedway, and he's out to the point. 28 looking to challenge. This is good stuff going on right here. So, uh, you didn't have a question last time. I definitely hope you have a question this time for uh, the Norgar TV members who will be uh, leaving Iowa Speedway there in uh, Iowa, Pennsylvania. Yeah, Iowa, Pennsylvania. Did I just really say that? Holy shit. Iowa, United States. God damn. <laughs> Jesus. My beer is almost empty. What does that tell you? I need another one. What are you drinking? Nordweisers. So you're not drinking beer. <laughs> I get that from my old neighbor. He always tells me that I'm drinking a breakfast beer, but it's Nordweiser. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? That's what you're supposed to drink for breakfast, but hey, I only ate once today, so it's lunch. And you know what? Let's focus in here on Earl Bland. Earl Bland a huge part of the Norgar TV community, admins, and league itself. He's running right now in 17th position in the 06. On the outside of the number 38, Josh Rhodes. Earl's done a lot around here. Earl is one of the on-track admins since all our admins are in Iowa right now. <laughs> a lot of them are there. I'm, I'm pretty sure Eric could run much further up front if you want to, but I guess he realizes a very long race and you just have to be around for the end of it. That is exactly right. You can't win it if you're not in it. I hate that saying, but I say it all the time. And Earl, if you remember, not this past season, but the season before that in the truck season, Earl hung out in the back of every race and he finished third in the points yeah I'm, I'm watching him right now and he's just giving room to everyone who makes it too wide so he's definitely just running defensive well oh not not, not defensive that that's the wrong word he's, he's just running um he's not, he's not oh we got problems He's not tearing his shit up. That's what you want to say. Go ahead and say it. Yep. <laughs> That's what I meant. It's not my foreign language. I could say it in German. Well, say it in German. I don't care. You could do the whole broadcast in German, and I would be happy. Hey, geht die Sache locker an. There you go. There you have He's it. taking it easy, that what I just said. David Fish, your leader. It's good to see David Fish out front. Been a while since he has been on the point here at Nordgar TV. And uh, 
he's out front right now being pursued by uh, Co uh, Covney. They're in the 38. Long way to go. Lap 94. We're almost halfway through this here, Groove. Yeah, and looking at the standings, I just realized that there are a lot of regulars who are just taking it easy. GE8's in 22nd place, but still on the first lap. Um, Earl Bland, of course, Mark Newland, Michael Norris. Well, they're all just hanging in there. It's a long race. we still got a ways to go, and we're going to have at least two more pit stops if we do continue under green that are going to have to be made here to make it 100 laps. But now I would like to publicly call out the number one naked lady, Dave Swindell, there in the Chevy Coors Light Silverado. Naked lady, if you're listening, come on up to the booth. You've had plenty of time to punch out TV reporters and uh, do the interviews and give the finger to, but now we need you up in the booth. And you know what? We got two almost naked ladies up here in the booth. Monique, Dominique, they're always here with me. Las Vegas showgirls, they stand at six foot seven with their heels on and groove. If you've never been to Las Vegas, you come here, you see these showgirls, you got to be like, damn, Nordgar, you are the shit. Well, I'm, I'm living about 300 kilometers away from the Czech Republic, so Las Vegas is just a joke for me. We got James on the phone right now. Let's answer this shit. James! James, how you doing, buddy? Are you guys in the car now getting ready to leave Iowa Speedway? Well, no, we're not in the car. We're still out here in the stands just hanging out because we've got separate cars, so... Well, listen, James, uh, our boy there, Jones, comes home second. What do you think of that, Eric Jones, racing on Norgar TV, coming home second tonight in his third very start in the Craftsman Truck Series? What do you think of that shit, man? How cool is that? Pretty cool, pretty cool. What? Oh, sorry, Kevin's interrupted. I don't care what Kevin is doing. Who gives a shit? We'll talk to him in a minute. But uh, right now, we are racing here still at Iowa Speedway. We just crossed halfway, James, and David Fish is our leader at lap 101. Nice. Why are you taking so long? We're done and over with. Well, I got started really late tonight. Uh, we got Groove up in the booth. I've been trying to get Swindell up here. He got taken out early, and uh, Swindell and the twins, uh, they're all bruised and, uh, well, bitter. Bruised and bitter. But we are running the Nord Cuckoo 200, and we just hit halfway. And James, let me get uh, your in your insight there on the race. We saw you on Norgar TV Facebook. We saw you. Caution's out. And the yellow's out here in our race. Uh, we saw you on Norgar TV Facebook, James. You were right, down on pit road. There. How'd it feel? You were down on pit road. How the hell did you pull that off? Oh, well, it's pretty easy. We got fan walk passes, and we can just walk down here. That was cool. Did you get to meet any of the drivers while you were out there? No, I did not. Well, you suck. Um, <laughs> did you see any of the drivers coming uh, to and from their cars? And uh, did you get, uh, and more importantly, did you have a Norgar TV sign anywhere with you? No, we did not. You sons of bitches. We failed. Yeah, you did. You failed. All right, well, James, we got uh, Groove up here in the booth with us. We're under yellow flag number six here tonight at Iowa. Guys coming down, this is going to put a kibosh on the uh, fuel. Uh, Groove, do you have any questions for Cheetos, man? Please say yes. I think Groove went to... Oh, there he is. The question I got is, how many beers did you drink? All right. Groove wants to know, between all of you guys, how many beers did you drink this weekend? Um, I don't know. I know one, two for sure, but I don't know how many cameras had all together, so. Two? Uh, you... Two. Uh, what? I'm driving, I can't drink. 
Oh, I'm yeah, pretty yeah. sure he's lying. Yeah. <laughs> Groove just said, I'm pretty sure he's lying. Uh, we saw a bit, bits and pieces of your uh, race there in the go-karts, and I got to tell you, uh, Cameron Meyer really put a whooping on your ass. <laughs> Well, you wouldn't believe this. Wait, Crest comes flying out with a go kart when the race is over, about ready to kick Meyer's ass. Because we had a gentleman's agreement. If somebody started pulling away, they were to slow down. And Meyer said, "Screw that." And Myers didn't adhere to the gentleman's agreement. What a dick! Well, more importantly, James, uh, uh, I want to ask you, and I hope everybody's still around there, and I want to ask all of them as well. Uh, you guys finishing up at Iowa, Timothy Peters coming home from the win, uh, coming home for the win, and it was a great race there on Speed Channel tonight. Uh, where were you guys' seats, and uh, give me your overall synopsis on the race. All right, well, uh, put somebody else on. Give me somebody else. James, thank you very much, Cheetos Man, for uh, coming to us live from Iowa Speedway. Thank you. Who do we got? Who do we got? I can't hear a damn thing. Who do we got? So you got a woo girl. Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, please say your name. Cameron. Cameron Meyer, Norgar TV League member. Cameron, I heard you put a whooping on the rest of the field there at uh, your little go kart race. We saw bits and pieces of it on Norgar TV Facebook. Uh, tell me what your strategy was there, and uh, I hope you say it was to completely cheat. No, it wasn't too bad. Basically, with a go kart, as long as you've got weight distribution. All you had to do was lean back on the entry of the corner, and when you get back on the gas, you lean forward, and that was the front tire grip. That was the biggest thing. You hold a good line through the corners, and that's a fast way around in a go-kart. All right, well, you just got finished up at Iowa Speedway. Timothy Peters comes home with a win, and Eric Jones, Nordgar TV, uh, well, he's been here. He's raced here. He comes home second. What do you think of that? Uh, I kind of wish Eric Jones would have wrecked, actually. Uh, I don't Guy, actually. Uh, I, I actually had a big incident with him one time in Phoenix. And, uh, I, wish you would have a race. I usually don't I usually don't wish that uh, people wreck, but I really don't like the guy anymore. <laughs> well, I'm sorry for that. Um, you guys have had a great weekend at Iowa. Where did you drive from to go see that race and spend time with Norgar TV members? We drove it's about a four and a half hour drive, but we left about seven o'clock this morning. Now we got about five hours worth of sleep because we actually had to race last night. I didn't get home until about 1.30 this morning. I've got to drive home right now from the speedway to wake up early enough to get the car ready to go race tomorrow night, actually. so. Where are you racing Green tomorrow flag. night? We're back to Green Flag uh, Racing here at Iowa. Where are you racing tomorrow night? We've got a local dirt track about an hour and a half away from home that we're uh, running for points up there. So we'll see how that goes. Just uh, another deal. Right now we're third in the nation in national rookie points, so... See if we can have another good run here tomorrow, hopefully. All right. Well, Cameron, good luck to you, man. Thanks for uh, tuning in with us here live on Norgar TV over the phone, live from Iowa. I appreciate it, Cameron. And uh, that thing that I've been talking to you about for a long time should be there any freaking day. Wait on it. I cannot wait to see that show up. Pretty excited. All right, man. Um, uh, you got Scala and you got somebody else there too as well. Put yeah, somebody I'll else on. Here, real quick. here you go. Oh boy. Chris Scala, Nordgar in the Yellow's booth. Out. The yellow's out again. Number seven here at our Iowa you Speedways. Now, Jersey, you get more acclimated to it. Or it's still difficult. Chris Scala, how you doing, buddy? 
why do the cars come out every time I get on the phone? Because you're bad luck. Because you suck. Bakers. Yeah. Bakers. Hey, I saw your father jump on the team speak earlier tonight, man. What does your father have for the Norgar TV uh, race season coming up? Uh, he's going to be learning. Uh, he's uh, done a great job learning the trucks. I know he's got a couple top tens in, uh, in, uh, from uh, me racing with him and things. Uh, you're going to see uh, a guy who continues to get better doing what, he's, doing what he does, and he's going to get in there with some great racers, and I think he's going to get better. And uh, you're going to get that Dynasty truck up to the front, or probably Davidson, whatever sponsor he goes with. Who knows? Maybe I'll put Captain Morgan's scheme on that truck, but uh, we'll uh, see what happens. Well, right now, uh, Chris, Brian Coveney is leading here on lap 112. And on your way home, you guys should tune in to Norgar TV and uh, watch the rest of this race. We're just over halfway. Coveney leading right now, Chris. And you guys just got done. Timothy Peters comes home with the uh, trophy. He gets to slap the trophy girl on the ass and drink Nordweisers. But Eric Jones, a uh, guy that has... Race many times with us here at Norgar TV comes home second. What do you think of that? And do you think that's pretty cool? Or uh, you know, what do you think of that? Yeah, he had a great run already. He was consistently a top. I know he started about tenth or so, if I remember correctly. And then he uh, worked his way to top five, probably by lap thirty or so, thirty-five. And he stayed there the whole entire time. Got second. I know cameras not too fond of it, understandably. Uh, but uh, no, he ran well and got that second. Uh, so he tied at the wall. And that was a, a, a great finish for Eric. And I, I do want to, on a side note, uh, go ahead and put out that I won $5 bet tonight. So I'm thinking uh, any driver that would have the best finish tonight. Thank you, Chase Elliott. Chase Elliott, uh, yeah, doing a good job tonight. Where where was his uh, final finish? I don't know. Why did you miss? And uh, let me go and put the rule up. And our rule was we had to pick a driver who had not won a truck race. So uh, basically we had the one guy pick Miguel Paludo. Uh, let's see, Wilms picked Frank Kimmel. He didn't realize it was an archery. Uh, Kevin Crash picked, uh, I think, Jennifer Jo Cobb, who I think he was trying to figure out who was the best, but it's not the worst. And I said Chase Elliott. All right, Chris. Well, I know you're uh, kind of itching to get out of there, so uh, if you can hand me over to uh, Kevin Cress right there, and uh, we'll finish this up here for uh, – did I miss anybody? Uh, yeah, Kevin. That's the last one last year. We'll uh, save the chance for last. And uh, let's uh, hope you guys can uh, keep the racing going, and uh, hopefully we'll get back to the hotel room. And, and when we do, we're going to go racing for it. All right, man. Have a good time. Thank you for uh, calling in live from Iowa Speedway. I appreciate it, Chris. Thanks, Chris. Hello? Hey, Kevin Crash, how you doing, buddy? Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Kind of upset, but pretty good. Well, upset, uh, Peters may not have been your guy. Kevin Crest, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Norgar TV Series Truck League champ here with us on the phone, coming to us live from Iowa. Kevin, uh, how much did you enjoy your weekend there? It was pretty good. I had a blast. Got a little bird, but other than that, I had fun. Super fun. I yep. even got to touch Danica. You got to talk to Danica? What did you say to Danica Patrick? Oh, I just gave her my number and winked at her. Yeah, I'm sure you did. We saw that picture on uh, Norgar TV Facebook, and I'm sorry, I think you were a little high. No. <laughs> Perfect spot. Well, Kevin, uh, we're racing here under Iowa. We're just under halfway. Uh, we thank you for uh, chiming in here. We hope you had a great weekend. You got to meet some guys uh, that you've been racing with over the last year at Norgar TV. How fun was that? Oh, that's pretty fun. I get to, uh, I gave James a lot of heck for wrecking me at Bristol. But, uh, <laughs> other than that, I've been a blast to meet these guys. Nice to have a face with the voice. Well, Kevin, let me ask you this. If, uh, for some reason, somehow, some way, it fell in the cards that we would do a Nordgar TV get-together. Uh, do you think you'd be attending that uh, so you could, uh, you know, punch in the head a couple of the guys that you have met before? Uh, it, it all depends on what day it is. Um, they were nice enough to work with my schedule. Uh, so it all depends on the day. All right, Kevin. Well, uh, we got uh, Groove up in the booth right now. Groove. Uh, truck Series champ Kevin Cress on the line. You got a question for him live from Iowa. Oh, you caught you caught me off fence here. Um, 
I have no question for him. All right. He said, uh, how long does it take to take a sable? To what? <laughs> Never mind, Kevin. Thank you very much. Thank you very green much flag. for uh, tuning in. We're going, we going back green? to green, green flag racing here. And Kevin, drive home safe and punch everybody in the face for me. All right. Take care. All right. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Norgar TV League members out at Iowa. We're under. Oh, Jay Beasley getting loose again, and Mr. Beach bumps him. All right, guys. Take care. Goodbye. Uh, James Wilms, we're leaving. Uh, unless you have anything else to say, we're under uh, green flag conditions again here live on Norgar TV. Yeah, I, I think I'm done. You better get back to commentating your race, man. Yeah, I probably should. And uh, I'm going to do that right now. But thank you very much, James. This absolutely will make YouTube. All righty. All right, hey, man. We'll see you Tomorrow night. All right, you guys drive home safe, and as I told Kevin, punch everybody in the face for me. <laughs> All right, man. Have a good one. See ya. All right, that was James Wilms and the crew. That was pretty cool, man. Mr. Beach, our beloved Frenchman, lost 13 spots in a single lap. Yeah, Beach not having a good time. He's out there running on the outside of, uh, there's Matt Simpson in the Slamouflage vehicle going by him for 18th spot. And also Brian Mc, Brian P. Coveney lost five spots. He was in the lead. 10 laps ago, now it's in 6th place. Lap 121 of 280 to go, 79 to go, 78 to go as they hit the stripe that time by. A lot of racing left here, Groove, and one of the things that uh, you really, really got to be aware of at Iowa is tire wear. It's so easy to wreck your tires here. Yeah, well, it's easy to wreck your tires, and it's very hard to get the, your line right. And I think that that's a problem most of, this, most of these guys have right now. Um, it's just keeping the car on the perfect line. Let's take a look and see. Uh, a lot of guys were asking in chat. I saw that while we were on the phone. We had 30 start this race. Currently, right now, 19 still on the lead lap. And it looks like about 22 still going for it, waiting for that lucky dog. Yeah, and right now, Mr. Beach is in 90th place. He's the last one to lead lap. I don't know what he did wrong there. Taking a look at Gene Yates in the number 31, just in front of the 10 of Thursby right there. This is about midfield right now, and... Uh, Thurs, or sorry, Yates. Yates has been a uh, mid-pack runner since he came to Norgar TV. But this guy, what I have to say about the 31 is when he's not involved in somebody else's shit, he is definitely a consistent runner. I can't wait to see him in the, uh, the league coming up here in a couple of weeks. But let's see how consistent he is. He's in a, a lot of pressure from Michael Norris and Ole Bland right now. Mark Newland there is... Oh, uh oh fuck. we got a wreck. Wasn't a bad no, one, though. We have got a very, very difficult official this week, so make sure we're minding our pieces. Brian Coveney, Brian Coveney there in the number 28. He's going to have some issues here. Beasley, who we saw leading out there, and Beasley just plows him. Not sure what that was about.
Tubney there in the 28, falling the number 24, goes down to the bottom right there, Groove, and uh, Beasley right behind him, and uh, it looks like he got loose. 28 got loose in front of him. I don't know. I think the 28 just ran the track too tight. Let's take a look here. Still looking for Swindell to come up to the booth. It's a tough call from that angle, Groove. Can't really see anything from that angle. Let's go to the uh, chopper view. Crackheads chopper. See him mixing it up right there, coming down the front stretch, across the stripe. Here coming down in the one. Covney there. I mean, he's on the. He's clearly on the inside of the 24. Maybe we can get a little more information if we go on board with him. Yep, loose, loose, loose. You see him go to the right there, Groove. Yeah, I'm pretty sure 20, what, 28 just entered the corner too hot. And Jay Beasley might have ran into his back, but Jay Beasley kept the car very, very good in the mid corner, and 28 just didn't. And, yeah, but even after the wreck, though, the good thing about it was, is and look what he does here after the wreck, Groove. This is a... Uh, commendable this is a uh, good race car driving he spins it around he's able to keep it out of the wall and coming back up across the track and uh, he just rolls he just rolls to the end of the line and uh, really not a whole lot, lot of damage done there yeah that's some impressive car control right there well, back in the day, Groove, you were not a big fan of the trucks, <clears throat> and I have accepted your vow that you don't hate this shit anymore. Uh, what are these guys here with uh, 70 laps to go, track position being important, uh, on this restart, what's going through your mind if you're down there on the track? Well, you know, I changed my mind about the trucks. Um... I hated them because they were too loose. Now I think they're very exciting because they are. And they certainly want, want to turn in. Um, I think that the B cars, for example, don't want to. They're very, very tight. They're always on the steer. And these trucks, they always steer all the time. And that makes them very, very exciting to drive. So you have to take care of those rear tires. Um, you always have to take care about the front right tires but in these trucks you would really want to take care of the rear tires you don't want to spin that much you don't want to get into the mid corner too hot which is very tempting in these in these trucks um yeah you're you're exactly right you're you're exactly right, you're, you're exactly right. Exactly right. to describe in german <laughs> It's okay. You did a very good job, man, and it, I'm proud of you, man. Uh, you speak better English than some of the people on TeamSpeak. I don't think that's a compliment. I just think you just insult everyone on TeamSpeak. And you. <laughs> <laughs> I insulted the whole lot of you. Um, uh, so, you know, I, uh, quite a few cautions here tonight, but David Fish really showing uh, some strong poise out there at Iowa Speedway here in the trucks tonight. We did leave it to open setups, uh, 200 laps. You know, I got to be very happy with uh, what we've seen so far. And the biggest surprise so far is Marcus Richardson. He really raced up his way to the front. Um, Ariadi got into a lot of trouble in this race. He's, despite all these troubles, he's running in fourth place. And we see Caleb McGee behind him. Mark Newland in ninth place. So a lot of drivers doing a very good job Green flag. doing damage control. It's time to go bumper humping again. Here we go. Green, green, green. Lap 133 of 200 here in Iowa, bitches. Let's do, hey, we haven't done this all night. Let's do a crank it up, bitches and non-bitches. No, we're not going to get to do that because there's a wreck.
he saved it. That's Ariadne, just as you were speaking of. Ariadne having issues on the restart. All right. Oh. There's another wreck. That's Mark Newland. Mark, uh, Mike Ellis. Big time, Rex. I'm going to go fire up the grill because it's time to eat, eat, eat. Yeah, Mike Ellis, Carl Brown, and a third car. You see Ellis there in the 17 tied ride, riding behind Caleb McKee in the 24. You got Hendricks there in the 38 down low. Mark Newland in the 15, and it looks like Ellis just, he gets loose, and then he goes to catch it up. But the problem with catching it up coming out of the turn, Groove, is there somebody behind you? Behind me? Well, when you get loose. 17 gets loose there, and the 87 right behind him. 17 gets loose, probably brake check to keep it uh, from spinning. And, you know, doing everything he can. And look at this, Beach getting by. What a lucky Frenchman. I'm going to go grill some hot dogs, boys. I think I'm going to go grill some hot dogs and, uh, I don't know. I feel like a, uh, well, a, you know, it goes along with Nordweiser, so. I'm going to go at least start the grill. Groove, this is your five minutes to entertain. Have fun. <laughs> yeah, I need I'll more beer. I'll bring more beer. I'll bring more beer. That's not beer. Shut up and drink it. But anyway, the third car involved in this wreck was apparently Tyler Ducarmi. I guess that's French, Tyler Ducharm in the 16 car. Actually, just just let me tell you tell you a joke, uh, which we Germans tell about Americans. Why do you, all Americans drink so much light beer? Because it doesn't taste anyway. <laughs> commentate in German. What's there to commentate on the caution? Okay, make it interesting. I could g give you one of my famous Hitler impressions, but... I don't know, giving Hitler impressions to foreigners is kind of weird. Actually, just last week I visited Mr. Beach, uh, Alexis Cheminade in France, and he said was, on behalf of the French country, we surrender. It's where we need it. Sorry, I don't know the movie Downfall. Most foreigners ask me about a quote from Terminator, Alex Schwarzenegger. No, Arnold's, Arnold's his name. If he dies, he dies in German means, wenn er stirbt, dann stirbt er.
All right, Groove, I've fired up the grill, heating it up, getting ready to cook some hot dogs. How many do you want? Four. All right, you got it. You know what just fired up in Germany is sun. It's just rose above, above the horizon. The sun just rose above the horizon? Yep. I so, can see it out of my window. So what time is it there in Germany? It's 15 minutes past 5. 5.15 5, a.m. Green flag! Germany. Green flag! Thanks for joining us, Groove. I appreciate it. Where's the damn naked lady? Naked lady still pissed off. Four of Anton down on the bottom of Fish, and he is going to take the point right now with the 30, uh, 51. I'll get it right one of these times. 51 of Richardson. He's up the third. Fish, crossover maneuver at the stripe down to the bottom. And Fish retakes the lead, but Connor Anton getting a freaking run out of two. Into three, Fish got the point. Oh, no, out. Oh, big wreck. Beasley, 51 in trouble. Caution is out. Bud. Jay Beasley on the radio, cursing up a storm. Maybe we should go live with the uh, driver communication. Let's do that right now. Yeah, that was my bad. Sorry about that. I just got loose to mad corner. Beasley in the Richardson there. Check the up at one and two. Check up one and two. Pace speed at a two. There is the Norgar TV official admins letting everybody know where the pace car is. There's not much to say about this wreck here, uh, Groove. Yeah, Beasley's a very good driver, but tonight he's done just one mistake too many. He's certainly struggling. Richardson in the wrong place at the wrong time. Beasley, minimal damage. Let's take a look at the damage at uh, Richardson's 51. Let's go on board with Richardson. Marcus, you Richardson. guys shame, save the same name. Yeah, Richardson really did a very good job racing up to the front. And he might have had some bad luck so far, but I think he still... He still might be able to get into the top 10. Still a long way to go. We got about 50, uh, 60 laps to go. Take a look at. Yeah, right now he's in 14th place, but I'm very sure he's managed to get into the top 10. You guys out there in chat, you guys uh, take a look at this. This is from the overhead view. Coming out of two, which, you know what, Groove, like a lot of the tracks, we and I just said like, yeah, I really did. Uh, a lot of the tracks, coming out of two, usually the danger zone for people. Now we're going into three right here. You see Anton on the outside, and him and Fish almost touch right there. If not, they do. 43 in the four. Four actually backs that shit up into the wall. If you see it right there, he hits the wall. And Beasley goes down, and I think he was overcorrecting for Anton there. Let's go on board with Beasley again and watch the truck in front of him, of Connor Anton. Beasley in the 27. Uh, no, he's not. He's got a fluorescent green. A 29. I knew it was 20-something. Watch the uh, watch Anton. You're gonna see Anton back it up into the wall. Come on, let's get a good view. Jesus, cameraman, really, really partying it up tonight. Everybody's just barely touching the wall. 
No vomit in the helmet. Coming hot. He's able to keep it out of the wall, which is, you know, always good when you're trying to run these long races. You, you, you cannot get damage to your car. You just can't. All right, let's take a look at the running order as they run right this very second. Pace car in first. That'd be David Fish on the point. Connor Anton in second. In third is going to be the 28 of uh, Coveney. Rhodes in uh, third. He scored fourth right now. He's going to switch around. McKee, they're in fourth. In fifth, going to be Mr. Beach. Brian Ray in sixth. Ariadne in seventh. Yes, I know the numbers are wrong, but they're not. Joshua Cotton to round out your top eight. Fish being very strong, very dominant. David Fish is looking for a good, uh, good race here. You think that 43 has what it takes to get to the end? Well, I know of the top 10, three cars or three trucks are running very strong all night, and that is David Fish in the 43, Brian Coveney in the 28, and uh, Mr. Beach in the 22. And we're doubling up, ready to go green again. Green flag. And Connor Anton getting a very good start here. Sorry about the pause there in the... Uh Silence, I didn't want to fart in uh, front of D Dominique and Monique. Yep, Anton out front. Anton's another guy searching for his first Norgard TV mystery race win. This wasn't really a mystery race, but it might as well have been. And Mr. Beach running very aggressive. That surprises you? No. <laughs> You've had a lot of laps on track with Mr. Beach. What is it like running with the 22? Oh, battle. I'm sorry. Don't mean to interrupt you, but battle for the lead. Covney down to the bottom of Anton to take over the point. David Fish. Trying to find a spot to put his front end. Anyway, back to Beach. Oh, they're running very, very close. Yeah, they are. 28, running into the four a bit. Fender Fornication here at Nordgar TV in Iowa. Under the lights. The lap 151, 49 to go. Yeah, and it seems like David Fish is just waiting for these two guys to slow down and for him to capitalize on this situation. There's not much more he can do, Groove. That's the thing here at Iowa. It's so hard to pass, and Fish has to wait until there's an opening, and there's really nowhere he can go if he's got a faster truck because you're not going to drive by him on the third lane. That's not going to happen. Oh, he, not, he should not wait. He, He's got to push because Ariadne is right behind him. Ariadne has had a lot of trouble during the course of this race oh, here. Fish going on the outside, hitting the wall. Fish That's does the scrape the wall. Ariadne going on the inside. Oh my God, cameraman. Jeez. Oh, and Fish is going to get turned. 43 hard into the wall. Oh man, and he disconnected immediately. Damn, David Fish running a great race. All gonna come to an end here in a second. 
On board with fish. Gets loose. And it, I can quote him here. He'll say, well, I ran out of talent. David Fish, uh, on track admin, and since uh, uh, since the naked lady wouldn't come up here, let's invite publicly right now. Invite David Fish to come on up here after he's done signing uh, boobies and asses and uh, punching out reporters. Uh, we're gonna leave David alone. Cars coming down from pit stops. We're gonna leave David alone a little bit, but yeah, Anton, the leader, bringing him down pit road right now. The caution flag number eight here tonight, 155 laps into it, and right now it's anybody's race, man. And going to the pits, we got Ariadi, Brian P, Coveney, Connor Anton, Mr. Beach, Mark Newland. Almost everybody. Yeah, pretty much. And right now, stopping right now, Groove, they have enough to get to the end. Important pit stop for these guys. Yellow coming out actually right in the right kind of time. Um, but uh, publicly right now, I'd like to invite David Fish up to the booth when he gets done punching people out. I don't think he's going to be able to stay down there on the track groove. That was a, that was a rough lick. So let's take a look at it again. Just gets loose. No contact whatsoever. Go to the chopper view. We've seen this time and time again on the restarts groove. And you as a driver groove, are you conscious and aware, like when you take a restart, that a lot of the times that if you push it too much, you're going to be, you know, you're going to get loose and that's what's going to happen. Do you uh, remind yourself, is that in your mental checklist on a restart? Well, I'm, I'm one of these drivers who are very slow on the restart because I take it too easy. Um, if anything, you should risk something on the restart, especially if you're three, three quarters, uh, three fourths through the race and try to get ahead of everyone and not like me, risk everything and get loose and end up being a lap down. I guess what I'm saying, don't ask me for advice on restarts because I suck at it. <laughs> well, we got David Fish up here in the booth now. David, uh, rough one there, and uh, if I can use one of your quotes, looks like you ran out of talent right there. Yeah, you know, had no one to blame but myself. So, uh, E3 spark plug Chevrolet was doing real, real good tonight. Had a real, uh, had an awesome setup, had an awesome spotter help, and, um, Unfortunately, just one of those things. All right, guys, I'm going to go check on my barbecue, but uh, David, ha glad to have you back up. i got a couple more questions for you here in just a minute, but i got to go check on my food. And for. He's checking this bratwurst. I was having a whole lot of fun tonight. Really good setup, and um, the um, crowd was, for the most part, you know, really behaving themselves. Had some good, some good tight racing. But man, these restarts, man, cautions breed cautions. They'll kill you. On the number 19 car of uh, Ariadne, there he's uh, going to be one of the one of the front runners. He'll be fighting for the win. Honor Anton is showing some strength late in the run. It's like he's been making a few adjustments on his setup as he uh, going into the pits. He's he's come on fast late in the run. Yeah, Ariadne is running aggressive all night, but unlike you, you're running quite defensive. 
Yeah, I was definitely, I mean, just watching how everyone was running it was better. I, I knew as the laps went on that my, my truck was getting better over the long run, so a little, little bumper love between the 28 and the 4 there on the restart. They're too wide. See, Connor's doing a real good job with these inside restarts. Got a good line. Right now, I'm seeing a lot of the more aggressive drivers in the front, such as Ariadi, um, Mr. Beach, Brian Coveney, and Marcus Richardson. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a no holds, no holds barred battle to the end. Pretty, I'm surprised Bray was able to keep the lead there as high as he ran in three and four. Wonder if Connor busted loose or something. Kind of a bad. Bad camera angle, can't really see it. Oh, Bray gets up to the wall, that's gonna cost him some speed. Got Connor right behind him. It's interesting watching the other watching the other drivers, especially when, once you're out of the car with the uh, the lines they're running. Mine was mine's a lot different. Bray's really high in three and four there compared to how I was running. Got about the same line through one and two on that lap. Got a little late nap loose there off two. Yeah, look at he's man, he's really high. What I like about Iowa is there's some real definite visual markers on the track to use as breaking points. Those are that's a real bonus. Yeah, but you gotta adjust your breaking points when your tires wear off. Oh absolutely. You gotta adjust everything. Your breaking point, your entry point, when you get back in the gas, how hard you can get back on the gas. That's what I was really enjoying about my setup is we went into the pits and I was making adjustments. My truck was actually getting better over the long run. That's, I mean, it was kind of hurting me on restarts because for the first three or four laps, the guys were actually faster than me. But after that, the, the truck was getting really nice and neutral. I could pretty much drive it wherever I wanted. All right, I'm Lots finally fun. back. Sorry, folks. That's okay. We're doing fine without you. <laughs> All right, cool. I'll eat. Brian Coveney there in the uh, 28 truck. He's a really considerate, clean driver. He. He was uh, a lot of a lot of give and take with him. He's he's fast on the restarts. He fades a little in the longer run, but whenever someone would come up on him, you know, he would say and chat, "I'm going to go ahead and let you go." He's a really good driver. He's a nice addition to the field. I hope he sticks around. Let me ask you guys. You know, you know my normal repertoire. Were you surprised to see a uh, full length truck race here tonight? No, not at all. Nothing you do surprises me, sir. <laughs> I think it was a kind of a kind of a neat thing. You know, we've got a a Nordgar representation at the race, and kind of a you know, for lack of a, a misused word, a little bit of syn synergy going on. Well, if you didn't see the um, pictures and videos that they posted on Nordgar TV Facebook. Head over there. It's it's well worth it. It'll put a smile on your face. And you get to see the Motley crew. And I'll tell you right now, um, John Madden, easy to pick out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I think Wilms is going to have a, you know, a new nickname. He's going to be Cheetos Claws. Cheetos Claws? Santa Cheetos. Definitely tell Wilms. I gotta say, I hope Mr. I hope Superman out. put on some sunblock because he was looking pretty pretty burnt. Wreck, turn three. All right, buddy, you had a couple laps by yourself there. How to feel? 170 with three la or 30 laps to go, and Earl Bland gonna get caught in this. Caleb McKee upside down. 38 in in the wall. Your pole sitter. No, I'm sorry. The pole sitter was uh, Sable. My bad. Yeah, Sable fell out. Sable and Beasley fell out a while back. Uh, you're going to see the 38 get into the wall up there in the third lane. 24 in the middle. You got Earl down there in uh, the 06 down below. and Looks like Earl maybe got a little loose. 
Fender fornication there. I mean, McKee's against the wall. And then just unbelievable aerodynamics fail on the number 24. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Yeah, I feel especially bad for Earl because he saw that I was running up front and he, he uh, took the took the gauntlet and ran with it as far as getting, you know, he stayed in the back of the field to do replays. And now here it is with 30 laps to go. He's trying to, you know, make something of his race and to see him get collected up in a wreck, that's, that's a shame. Whether it was his fault or not, because as good as he was running, maybe he didn't, shouldn't have been there in the first place. Well, let's take a look on board with Earl. I don't see Earl do anything wrong. It, it's just one of those things where the truck comes up. I want to look at that from um, from Caleb's. Yeah, face we're or definitely going to. Yeah, we're definitely going on board with the 24 because uh, there's definitely vomit in the helmet on that one. <laughs> it almost looks like Earl held his line, but maybe Caleb got got a little spooked at being so close to the wall and might have come down on him. This is pucker factor here. You got a nice group of four diving into one and two. 38 goes high. Oh god, you're thinking to yourself, where's he going? Yep, look at there. Sure enough, Caleb got a little spooked. Like the uh, odd sock in the, in the dryer right there. One more look from the 24. Close tight racing. That's all I can say. He's the got vomit it. cam. Sorry, go ahead. I was just saying the vomit cam always good for a laugh. Now, these guys, uh, knowing that uh, the time to go is now, Iowa Speedway, very hard to pass here, David. And track position, everything. You want to gain everything you can on pit road. Yeah, there's no no doubt about that. It's um, definitely your uh, restarting position, too, I, I really think. And you have a... You have a better chance of position when you start higher on the high side. If you to try to maintain or even gain on the low side, you have to have a, a perfect entry into one and get really get onto the power coming out of two. If not, you you just get freight trained on the high side. Well, we got almost 60 viewers here tonight viewing this very long race, which uh, you know I do uh, I do full races every now and again, but I haven't done one in a long time. It's good to see so many viewers out there at Norcar TV, and I would like to take this time to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Tomorrow morning, we will be announcing a special event for tomorrow night. I don't know if you heard this earlier in the uh, earlier in the show there, David and Gru, but tomorrow night uh, we're going to put on a race, and the winner is going to get a brand new free uh, Norgar TV first edition limited edition norgar tv t-shirt so you're going to be racing for something for for once here at norgar tv or the special edition nord swag 500. there you go speaking of swag i haven't seen that in many many years so <laughs> time to revisit uh, some of the green leaf <laughs> lights on the nice pace car are off what do we got going on here? We got 25 got laps to go. I'm surprised to see Mr. Beach starting on the inside because he's in second place. Well, that's Ray. Ray didn't choose the outside line, but Beach uh, has been strong. Yeah, Ariadi actually uh, restarting on the outside there in the uh, number 19. In first, he chooses the outside green lane. Flag, green flag. And just as Beach said, that's where you want to be. Let's see if it uh, pans out for him here coming down into one. Oh, Beach with a bad restart. Beach has had bad Beach restarts had... all night, man. We, Me and Groove have watched him earlier on, and he just, and there he goes. He's oh. going to lose it. He, he's getting loose. Three wide coming through three. Nice save by both of them. Beach just, hey, oh, and Beach Anton and the 31 get together, and here we go again. 
Lose, lose, lose. That's the word of the night. Come through real quick and then tell me what you got. Well, further review will dictate, but it appears to me that Mr. Anton went up into the 31. Riding above Connor right now. He makes it three User wide. 31, 22, and the four. Who do we got online there? Who do we have joining? You got the whole. You got the whole crew. The whole crew is in the booth from Iowa Speedway. We are driving on I-80 going west, listening to everybody junk. It sounds like. <laughs> well, this is very unexpected. Joining us on TeamSpeak finally is uh, the guys, Norgar TV League members from the crew. Say hello, everybody. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Kevin, don't mind him. He's a man of many words. So it's your last night in Iowa. How are you going to spend it? Well, right now we're holding on to everything we possibly can in the vehicle because James is driving. And uh, we're praying we get to the ho uh, hospital. Listen to me. Hotel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think Cress is going to Danica's house, he's telling me. And uh, I think we're uh, going to do some racing or something. Um, racing? Nordweiser is probably not a good idea. I think you should call it a night. You're hosting another one. You're hosting another one, right? I mean, you're going to race from the hotel? Is that what you're telling me? Absolutely. Are you shitting me? All right, I'll put another one on. If you're going to race from the hotel, ladies and gentlemen, Norgar TV League members, Iowa Speedway running back to the hotel to get ready to go racing after this one has concluded. And we're actually staying at the Norgar Hotel, as you know. You got to check in in the Norgar Hotel. I mean, what the hell? Hey, they got Nordweiser's Unlimited at your rooms. Well, let me ask you now that everybody can actually hear you, and uh, we've tried a couple of, over the phone. Uh, did you guys enjoy your weekend? We had a blast, you know. I mean, I didn't get to be up here as long as, uh, as Kevin and, and Richard was and stuff, but uh, no, it was a good time while I was here, and, and while they were here, I know they got to watch a bunch of practice, and these uh, street stocks that were racing Friday night was a uh, pretty fun race, and um, you know, and, and tonight's truck race was uh, very entertaining, obviously, and um, I, I mean, we couldn't ask for uh, really a better weekend, I mean, uh, it was supposed to be like 88 today, which it was, but the sun never came out, so it almost had the perfect feel for a race all weekend. Well, let me ask you, Chris and Kevin and Cameron and James, as you're in the car headed back to the hotel, getting ready to race with us live on Nordgar TV, where would you guys like to race from your hotel room, the Hotel Nordgar? Uh, I guess I'm the one racing, I've been told. Um, I guess I got to pick. You know what's kind of funny is, well, you guys are running Iowa, so I would say Iowa again, but since you guys are probably worn out from Iowa. Huh. And this will be my first Norgar race since 2010. Um, let's see. I wasn't alive in 2010. <laughs> I don't think half our drivers were. Uh, you know what, Atlanta or Charlotte would be cool. What do, you want to, what do you want to run at Charlotte? We ran Atlanta last night, so what do you want to run at Charlotte? You ran Atlanta last night? Yeah. yeah. Or two nights ago, actually. I wasn't on last night. Sorry, I had to stall for a second. We had a, a dually trying to take somebody out in the interstate here. Um, trucks at Charlotte? If that's what you want, that's what you get. That's what you want, that's what you get. All right, what is, your, uh, what is your current speed down the highway? What lane are you in, and how long, and what is the ETA until you get to back to the hotel? We are uh, going about 73.3. Uh, we're in the far left lane, passing an 18-wheeler who won't honk his horn, asshole. And then uh, we're actually, yeah, hang on, let's see if we can get this to work. Hang on, we're going to try it here. Hang on. We're going to try it. See if it works. 
He's been home, kid. Really? I gotta show my teeth, really? Kevin for you. Give him the finger. We're having fun. Give him the finger. <laughs> Kevin, put your pants up. Oh my god. <laughs> Only on Norgar TV. <laughs> Only on Norgar TV. I'm glad it's radio and not television. And back to Green Flag Racing here at Iowa. The 38 of Hendricks going to lead them down. I'm sorry, that's Rhodes. All right, so you want to race at Charlotte? What do you want to race? The trucks? Yeah, we'll run the trucks at Charlotte. We'll All right, how long you got before you get to the hotel? We are on lap uh, 183 of 200. That should be plenty. I mean, I'm looking right now. We're uh, going into the city of Des Moines right now, and the hotel is about 10 miles west of Des Moines. So I'm saying probably in the next 20 to 25 minutes we should be there. Don't worry. We're still going to be under caution by then. Uh, a lot of bumper <laughs> humping going on here at Iowa Speedway. We've had eight caution flags, probably nine. I don't know. My abacus doesn't go up that high. But uh, we're back under green flag conditions here. Lap 184. The 28 of uh, Brian Covney leading them around, and Bobby Cheney up to second. Champion. Go, Bobby. Hey, hey, you're in the press box. No favoritism. All right, well, we got David Fish, and we got Groove up in here, and they can hear you, and uh, you should be able to hear them. So, David and Groove, the boys going home from Iowa. Howdy, boys. Hope you had a good time. Uh, it was a good time. Uh, I want to real quickly let's, uh, congratulate Groove. Uh, I know he won a race since the last time I was on this. Hey, Groove, congratulations on your win. I know you probably still hate turning left, but congratulations. I won a race? Maybe not. I can't remember winning a race. <laughs> okay. A battle for the lead here, Chris. Robbie Cheney on the outside of Ariadne here at Iowa, not able to get it done, coming out of four down the front stretch. Ariadne to the front. Cheney looking oh. low, not able to get it done there through one and two, coming up on slower traffic. Oh, sorry, that's Cubney there. Ari and now the battle for the lead. I'm in the, uh, I've been drinking too much. Ariadne down on the bottom of Brian Cubney there, and this is the battle for your lead right now. Mark Newland with a lot of front end damage, he's going to fall to the back. Mark Newland with a lot of front end damage, he's going to fall to the back. Brian out front, Ariadne in second, Cheney in third. Ariadne in second, Cheney in third. Ten laps to go at the line, boys. Ten laps to go at the line, boys. Hey, Lord, right. I will say one thing real quick, Leo, with 10 to go. One thing that one thing the three of us found tonight when um, we were watching the race and qualifying is how much deeper these drivers in these trucks would drive in the turn one and three during the race and the qualifying. Well, it's nice when you got a sheet metal buffer there on the outside to keep you in some place. There on the outside to keep you in some place. Oh, well, and I racing you do too. Look at this, we got a nice side-by-side -side battle for the lead. Neither driver wanting to give an inch. Bobby Shaney looks like he's setting them both up. We got somebody echoing here. Uh, I'm not sure who's uh, echoing here in the uh, chat. It's probably on from driving because I think it's on voice activation. Well, a, a couple of the viewers have pointed it out and all I got to say is deal with it! Side by side for the lead, Ariadne down on the inside of the number 28. Coming through one and two, lap 192, eight to go. And Bobby Cheney sizing them both up right now. Nowhere for Bobby to go, David. Oh, great, huh? great bust and loose. Loses a couple of, couple of truck wings. Here comes Bobby, gonna, gonna battle on the outside for a second spot. Should be able to Bobby got a bad Bobby extra added too. Uh, Ray put himself a couple couple of truck links ahead of him. Got Covey just running a really good race, running just running his line, making Ray adjust his line to try to get around him. Ray diving it down to one. Got just holding this line and just running a real smart race. 
making these guys overdrive their trucks and wear out their tires. He's just gonna just gonna check out on them. Oh, Ray gets a run out at four, and Scott just slams the door on him. Single filed up right now, and uh, this is probably going to be the way it is. going to be to the end with five to go here. And the top three, three. to anybody's race, the 28 down on the inside of Ariadne there, and the number 19, double A to the high side. Cross the stripe, four to go. Ariadne, your new leader, he's on the point. Ray got a nice, nice pull off of two there. Look at him stretch out his lead a couple over a couple of truck links over Coveney. Co 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 oh, and Ariadi running wide just as Brian Coveney. Both the leaders having struggles to keep the car where they want it to be. Well, Ari's in good shape right now, and Bobby Cheney down in the bottom of the 28, and Cheney looking to take over second. And he's gonna get it. And he's gonna get it. Oh, Coveney fields gonna, back. Oh, he gets loose coming off a of four and he's gonna lose it. Back to third and we got a wreck coming through one and two. The race is over. That's it. That's it. Now the race is over. Field is frozen. The truck got off the track as quick as he could, but it wasn't quick enough. So we're gonna end under caution flag here at Iowa. Late race caution brought out by Brian Ray here running in 12th position all by his lonesome. See him spin out there right there, hits the inside wall, back up across the track in front of Newland. Newland shit his pants on that one, boys. Well, kind of an anti-climact again, but a good race nonetheless. Well. A lot of people ask for long races, I give it to you. And I gotta tell you, I'm, despite all the wrecks, I don't care, I'm happy. This was a lot of fun here tonight. Uh, it, was a, it was a great race from a driver's standpoint. It was a lot of fun being able to try to go in, figure out some pit strategy, especially with the aspect of the, uh, the open setup. That was a lot of fun. Nord, I'm gonna step in there and say, uh, anytime you wanna do a long race, I'm in. Yeah, I'm absolutely willing to throw you guys to the wolves for sure. Um, Chris, I'm going to go ahead and give you the uh, privilege of, uh, go ahead and tell me your question and the winner, Ariadne there in the 19 or what you want to say to him. I'll relay that to him and uh, we'll do this for the first time ever on Norgar TV. Uh, ask Ariadne um, how he enjoyed the long distance race because it looks like it was, what would you guys go, about two hours or so, which isn't bad. Ask him if he wants to see more long distance races. Ariadne, Norgar in the booth. You got a gobby? Yes, sir. Good. Ariadne, we're getting a phone in phone call from Iowa Speedway live from Chris Gala. And he wants to ask you number one, how did you enjoy this long race and would you like to see more of them? Beings that you just won it. I, I definitely love to see more, uh, <laughs> more, more long races out here like this. Um, it, you know, really puts a lot of strategy into the, uh, to the races. You know, you've got to be really patient and um, take care of your cars. So, yeah, I'd love to see more races like this. Harry, what was the most important thing you needed to do in the number 19 here tonight to be able to survive 200 laps at Iowa, come home with the win, and slap the trophy girl on the ass? Um, just keep uh, persevering, I mean, and being patient because I put, <laughs> earlier in the race, I put the 99 on the wall, then I got turned myself, and uh, I was lucky to actually have a reset there. I didn't think I had any more, but, um, you know, just keep keep racing and uh, keep your head in the game and just try to take care of your car, or truck, rather. Well, Timothy Peters comes home with the win at uh, Iowa Speedway tonight. You come home with the win here at Iowa Speedway tonight. Congratulations, Ari. Anybody you want to say hello to, thank, moon, or give the finger to, now is your time, brother. 
Uh, I'd like to thank uh, GoPro, TJ Friday, uh, everyone here at the um, all the drivers here in the race, Nordgar. Uh, thanks, it was, uh, it was really fun, you guys. All right, you got it. And uh, we're going to get a question here uh, live from uh, leaving Iowa Speedway for uh, Brian Covney. Brian Covney, hang on one second. Let's get that question for you. All right, you guys out there in the car, what do you want to ask the uh, number two finisher, Brian Covney? The only thing I can think of off the top of my head, and, and maybe these guys probably want to know this too, because uh, if I remember correctly, Covney was leading earlier. So uh, we'll keep it simple. How come you didn't win? <laughs> All right, Brian Covney, uh, Norgar TV League member, leaving Iowa Speedway, wants to know, you were up front earlier on. Why the hell didn't you win, brother? That 19 was just a little bit faster. I mean, I couldn't hold him off. He got the outside run, and you know, I tried to block him a few times, but I couldn't that time. You ran a clean race, man. And there was a little bit of bumping and grinding out there, but clean race. You keep your shit clean to the end. You're able to finish. You come home second. You got to feel good here at this 200 miler here at Iowa. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I mean, I hope you guys host more of them. They're a lot of fun. All right, Brian, uh, your time, your time, man. You got sponsors. Congratulations on your second place finish. I'll throw you a couple Nordweisers just for the hell of it. Anybody you want to thank, uh, say hello to, wave, or, uh, you know, like I said, give the finger to. Yeah, I'd like to thank you guys for hosting these races. They're a lot of fun, and uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. Uh, Bobby Cheney will be with your question in a second. It's coming to us live from Iowa. I'll relay it to you in just a second. All right, uh, you guys in the car. Uh, you guys in the car. Bobby Cheney coming home third in the 99. What would you like to ask him? We got one simple question for Bobby Cheney, the champ for this year's Norgard Truck Series. Do you like fish sticks? <laughs> All right, Bobby Cheney, uh, the question is, and this is how they put it, we have one question for Bobby Cheney, this year's Norgar TV Truck Series League champion. Do you like fish sticks? No. The answer is no, Mr. Scala. That's a good thing. Our, uh, Scala said that's a good thing. They're all holding on for dear life. They're wearing five-point harnesses right now as Wilms is tearing up the highway to try to make it back to the hotel to get to the next race that we're going to have. But Cheney, you come home third, long race, a lot of endurance, a lot of strategy. What was your main focus here tonight? Well, the main focus was to win the race, but I just needed to get in position to have the shot at winning a race. That's what I wanted to do, stay out of the wrecks. and had a couple run-ins, but, you know, that happens. Short track racing, and you just, you know, you just got to be patient. And I was in position, but Ari had fresh tires, and there was no reason to even try to hold him up. I had to let him go because he was way faster than me. Well, Bobby, we don't normally throw 200 lap races. We did it here tonight. Threw you for another loop. You never know what you're going to get on Norgar TV. Now is your time, 99. You got to thank The Rock and everybody else. Use this time. Congratulations and thanks for being out here. I'll oh, definitely thank The Rock for being on the truck. And, uh, you know, it's the sponsorship won me a championship. And it's been fun. And thank all the admins and stuff. And what you do is it was awesome. But uh, for uh, Wilms and them, they ought to be all right if Wilms has, you know, doesn't have to hit the brakes. When Wilms hits the brakes, that's where Scal and all them guys need to worry. <laughs> that is fucking awesome. Uh, I mean, that is absolutely stupendous of uh, of a comment there for uh, James Scala and crew. So thank you very much, Bobby. Congratulations on your third place finish. Microphone activated. Thank you. All right, Groove, David, uh, Chris Scala. Uh, the race is over. And uh, what do you got to say? We're going to have uh, Adi, Con uh, oh, man, Convy. Uh, yeah, I can't. Fuck. Drink more, Nord. Uh, Covney. Covney. Jesus Christ. 
Covney, Cheney. Those are your top three. Mr. Beach, Richardson, Rhodes, Ducharme, Simpson. Matt Simpson in the Slamouflage finishes in the top ten. Uh, Yates in ninth and Cotton in tenth. You guys, you got to see a long race. There was a lot of caution flags. We got to do a lot of really cool stuff here. Uh, let's get the wrap up. Uh, first of all, let's go to uh, let's go to David Fish. I uh, want to thank you for putting this on. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I like the the longer races. I like strategy races, and I gotta say, I I like the idea of having the uh, open setups to where we could adjust them. It was a it was a nice addition to the race. Uh, it definitely made my racing experience a lot more enjoyable, and you know it did not take a lot of adjustment to the stock setup to make the car really comfortable. So maybe something to consider in the future. But great race um, for the most part. People drove really well and had a lot of fun. Can't wait to do it again. All right, Groove. We're getting ready to uh, run out of here at Iowa Speedway. We're going to run one more truck race. is going to happen at Charlotte. That's going to be coming up next. Uh, but Groove, uh, let's wrap this one up here at Iowa, man. And go ahead, do it in German. I don't care. Or don't. I, it doesn't make any difference. Um, well, it's 6 a.m. in Germany, and I don't know where I am. I don't know what's my name. Um, I'm just hammered. <laughs> I really. I'm just CUI, commentating under influence. <laughs> Absolutely love that. I'm going to have to steal that from you. But, hey, Groove, uh, thanks for staying up late with us or early or however you want to look at it. hope you don't have to go to work. I'm, I'm, I'm not staying up late. All I need right, right now is caffeine and, and, and amphetamine. And amphetamine. <laughs> Whatever it takes, brother, man, and be sure to uh, leave some on the table before you leave. One of the benefits of living close to the Czech Republic. Well, most people think it's just the hookers, but actually it's the amphetamine. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm going to have to edit all this shit out. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Well, thank you very much, Groove, for being high and drunk at the same time at 6 o'clock in the morning on a Sunday. I appreciate it. Thanks for uh, lending your voice here to uh, Norgar TV tonight, and you as well, Fish. My pleasure. Always an honor. Thank you, sir. All right, we're going to get out of no, sorry, go ahead, Groove. I didn't mean uh, to interrupt you. Go ahead. Go ape shit. No, you're fine. I was going to say, I, I guess uh, Marcus isn't going to church tomorrow morning, but um, um, needless to say, um, we're at the hotel, what? so we're what? going in right now. And uh, we're going to get ready to race. Uh, good job, guys. And uh, Nord, thanks for letting us join you. Uh, Scala, I, I got to ask. I know the audience is really, really wondering, but uh, Wilms, is he on the left side or the right side of the bed? Wilms isn't staying with us, which is probably the best move we made the whole weekend. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, never mind. We'll see you in the hotel room. We're going to take a quick break. I'm going to actually call you guys. Chris, I'll call you on your phone right now uh, to make sure you... Okay, I'll call James then. Damn it, Madden. I love Brett Favre. Uh, I'll call him and uh, make sure you guys are ready before we put this next race up. But uh, good luck to you driving live from Iowa. Thanks for tuning in. And all the uh, during the in-race interviews live from Iowa. That was absolutely awesome. Thank you. Yep, no problem, man. Glad we could uh, lend a helping hand. Uh, that's too much information as well as all right hang up the phone <laughs> we'll be right back all right fish groove we're out of here thank you so much guys user disconnected from your channel one more having me one more race coming up one more race and that's going to be all so you better make it a good one we're going to take a break here a long needed break here at norgar tv and uh thanks to my uh co-commentators there david fish and uh, Groove, Marcus Legendary there, hailing from uh, Frankfurt, Germany. And also thanks to the uh, thanks to the guys live from Iowa. That was really awesome to do, and uh, I had a lot of fun. So one more race coming up, and we'll see you here in a few. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>